This here upper peninsula is quiet and peaceful. Some bozos would even say boring, don't you know? Not much happens up here. Well, except at one time when they say that a newscaster went crazy over the air. Yeah, you betcha, that there was one crazy time. And it all got started with... A bang. Now this here is the mom and pop station where it all started. It's the only channel folks can get for a hundred miles or so, unless they can afford one of them their fancy satellite thingies, and heck, who can afford one of them? Herb and Frida couldn't, that's for sure. Partly cloudy with highs in the mid-twenties, with a chance of snow showers tonight. Which is really good news for all you deer hunters. Cut! Herb, do you mean to tell me that you sold the $20,000 camera just to pay off your gambling debt? Oh, that's it. I'm out of here. I am filing for divorce today. Now what would a story be without a victim? Now in this here caravan are the up and coming band The Beagles on their way to a concert in Minneapolis, don't you know? That's them there in the motorhome. Face it man, it's over. Give it back! You had your chance. And I blew it. You gotta stop doing this to yourself. Now in case you missed that there pretty girl in the photograph that that there bonehead beagle was pining over, she's trailing behind right there in that limousine with her new boyfriend. There's only one channel. Whose idea was it to drive through this wasteland instead of fly anyway? Yours, dear. Remember? It's the same reason you won't hire a driver for the limo. Gabby doesn't mind. You wanted to cut costs, remember? I mean, the boys are on their way up. We can afford it. Same reason we should get rid of the Winnebago and get something else. Why does everything revolve around money? But I can repay the money, I promise. How? This two-man station hasn't turned a profit in months. And what little we do have, my idiot husband just wasted at the casinos! You can't do this to us. Just watch me! I thought I could win it back. Forget it, Herb. It's over. Please, I'll do anything. You want me to stay? Then put the three grand back into my account that you stole now! Well, I'll need a little time. Now, the need for money can do funny things to folks, don't you know? Luckily for Herb, his disability insurance bill happened to come in the mail that very morning. Now in this here teeny house across town, another old geezer was having money problems of his own. After Ian got that there bankruptcy notice, he was already teetering there on the edge, when... You bloody pirates! Come back here, you bloody pirates! It's not the end of the world, you know. Plus, I thought you were trying to quit. How about we listen to the radio? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll take care of it. Hey, Gabby. How about a little music back here? Next up, the Beagles latest coming in at number 15 this week. Didn't their bassist lose his voice or something? Yeah, some weird illness, I guess. Yeah, I think it was uh, right after their first hit, wasn't it? I read he's doing sign language now. Is he really? Well, you gotta hand it to him, huh? <laughs> oh, tasteless. Really, very tasteless. <laughs>
piece of crap? Say, would you happen to have the time? I'm sorry. I don't carry a watch, but he does. Is this loser oh. going to be up to performing tonight? <laughs> Musically, I mean. Um, he's not playing, just passing through. I am starving. <laughs> mm, <laughs> Do you have a, a Rolex. Hmm, how does a slob like this afford a Rolex? He's with the Beagles. You know that song, Doggone Lonely? He's with them? Mm hmm <laughs> About my menu, because I'm... Hello! What? Well, can you take care of it yourself? I'm bloody well hung up at the moment. Look, Wilma's late from the Holy Rollers meeting and I need your help. What happened to your car? Great. I'll be right there. Hey! Um, what about my menu? Can anybody ever listen to me? What'd you say? Can you hand me the spare? Spare what? It's a bowling term, Larry. Mike mistakenly thought for a moment that you brought some balls. Well, I didn't. Isn't that obvious? As a matter of fact... Oh, you, you mean a spare tire. Uh, I would have helped. I just didn't know I had one. But Larry, you most certainly do. Don't tell me you're pregnant again. I'm not quitting because I'm pregnant, you chauvinist. I am a dancer. <laughs> right. <laughs> what is that garbage you do? It's funk tap. And how dare you call what I do garbage, you pathetic excuse for a Scotsman. And just what is that supposed to mean? Uh, that you're not really Scottish? I was born in Edinburgh and you're bloody daft. Well, I'm not so crazy I don't notice that you have an Irish accent. So if you're so much from Scotland, why don't you sound like it? Because me parents moved to Dublin when I was eight, and I was tired of getting my ass kicked for the way I talked. A likely story. I, on the other hand, am telling the truth. Getting out of this hellhole and finding a man rich enough to help my dance career. Look, I was willing to help you. That's a joke, right? Remember the bankruptcy? When are you gonna get it, Ian? Your ancient history. Well, you should ask Wilma out. Pit on every other waitress that's ever worked there. Are you trying to be funny? You tell me. <laughs> I've seen the way she looks at you. Oh, by the way, she's not coming in till 11. 11? I thought she was coming in at 10. If you're here and Wilma's gone, who's minding the pub? Breakfast is ready. How someone get served around here? Do what I did. Help yourself. Oh. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Hey! Those are for me. There. Good as new. Don't worry, Larry. We can just move it to the side that isn't flat. What kind of idiot do you think I am? My kind. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means we start walking. Oh, well, forget it. We're out in the middle of nowhere and I'm wearing $200 shoes. Who's the idiot now? <laughs>